Let's do another example of slowing down for yellow lights. In this situation, I will be the client and I'm a senior project lead and I'm interested in getting Dave and his company's help on some pretty critical issues. Let's watch David as he uses the three-part response to address this yellow light. Well, David, I, I have to tell you, I'm very excited about having you and your team fly in to do a demo of your software and how it's applicable and how it will be applied in our environment. And I think once my senior team gets a view of this demo, they'll be as excited about this software as I am. I hope so. That would be the goal. And so my team is ready. We can't wait to show how this will actually fit in your environment and how easy the system is to use. Good. Uh, there's just a concern that I have, and I wouldn't bring it up because it could be offensive and I wouldn't want it to be. At the same time, I can't just step past it and ignore it. In conversations at varying levels with other people in your organization, I've noticed that when this topic comes up, it seems that we get very mixed response and at least to me what seems like not very much interest or support for this project. So I guess the concern is if I fly my team out and we do a really good job of getting your senior people excited, that it's gonna meet with some resistance in the organization because it's not perceived as really a critical priority. And that wouldn't serve either you or us well. How would you like to address that problem? Well, I'm glad you raised the concern. Um, I want this demo to be incredibly successful for you and for us. And it sounds like we need to do some great work on getting people prepared before you come. I'm wondering if we can spend some time talking about how to build support about this opportunity, about the software and so forth, making it much more effective for you and in the end, uh, gaining the support that we'll need in order to move this thing forward. Does it seem, sound like a good idea? It does. That was the only reason I brought it up is it, it just seems like something we ought to address. Let's do it. The philosophy of slowing down for yellow lights helps us in several ways. First, it demonstrates and builds trust with our clients. It also helps us to show clearly our intent to help our clients succeed. Slowing down for yellow lights is particularly helpful if the yellow light turns red because it can save us both time and money. And in some cases, might even save the deal. So the rule is this. If you hear a yellow light, see it or feel it, find a way to say it.